this will work whether he's standing or kneeling. Like, go and get down like a combat with this one. Okay? He's like a combat base here, okay? You're going to see, especially in Nogi, you're going to see a lot of shin to shin action, okay? Set up leg locks, single leg X, things like that, okay? So, what I'm going to do here is I've got to get, he's not going to let me pick his leg up. If he's standing up, it's a little easier. If we're on the mat, I've got to get his weight going that way just a little bit. So this is a little lighter for me to scoop up, okay? Generally, what I'm going to do, I just push them. Just either, if you get the wrist, pull the wrist, and not just kind of push their head over here like that, okay? That's simple. That's enough, okay? I'm going to load this up and go for my single leg X, okay? Right here. This is clamp. Some people, a little bit, some people like to hook the same leg here. I like to hook the cross side and come here because I got cross pressure across his hips, okay? From here, once I've got him over, I'm going to go ahead and reach, grab the toes. I'm just pushing the foot back here. Okay, I've got him trapped. Okay, now, if he knows anything about toe holds, the, the gigs, I think, knows exactly what's going on here, okay? Which is fine because what he's going to do to get out of this, most likely, is try to roll out. When he does, see this foot I've hooked? That's why I hooked that. I've got the other leg control. Now, he can eventually try to work out of this, but that's going to stop the roll and keep the pressure, okay? So while all this is going on, I'm still engaging the same technique in my toe. If I wait till we get all the way here, I'm really going to push that foot up to dig in, okay? I'm going to try to catch this as I roll. That way, as soon as we land, he thinks he's getting out. When he realizes, boom, I'm not, that's when the pressure goes on and he... You know, he just got that mental block. Oh, I didn't get out. And now I got to tap. Okay. Now, if, he's not going to roll if I don't grab the toes. He's not just going to roll out of single leg X most likely. He's going to try to get pressure and pass. Okay. What makes him do it is that when I, I lift my hips up and grab here, this is what's going to engage the roll. Okay. Then he rolls. I dig. Boom. Here. Okay. I've got him hooked. Now, see how his legs kind of extended? If he gets it all the way extended, this can get really hard. That's why I keep this pushed here. As soon as I get to here, I've got the leg bent. I'm right at the joint. Once again, not down here. Up here at the joint. Reverse throttle. See, I just reverse throttle. He's tapping. Okay? If I want to, I'm going to loosen up a little bit. If I'm here, I want to go to the toe to the butt. Retract that elbow for the full effect. Okay? But just right here, now that I can feel the tightness there. Okay? Depending on how well you got your grip and the dexterity of your opponent's ankles. Okay? Shin to shin. Off balance, lock this first, don't rush it. Lock this, squeezing, foot in the hip, hook in the leg. Don't completely lean away, keep tight, crunch, grab the toes, he goes to roll, collect, hook the leg, boom, right there. In here, always give your partner time to tap. At a competition, their foot's going to the butt. If it's their job to tap, if you're nice about it, they'll most likely straighten their leg and not tap, and then you just you know let them out of there. It happens, okay? You don't ever want to hurt anyone in the competition. It's their job to tap, and sometimes you should tap early, especially on things like that. Okay? Questions? One, two, three. <laughs>